we're here at the pull-off on the Jaegerville Road. That's where I parked. There's a cemetery over there, Furman Cemetery. And we're gonna walk about three minutes to the trailhead for the waterfalls on Jaegerville. You can actually hear the water from up here. Literally, I think we're walking down towards there, but since it's too steep to climb down, we're gonna walk for about three minutes to a more proper trailhead. There's a little peg extending out of the ground with red wrappings around it. You won't really see it from the road. Just be aware that it's right here. There's a uh, sign and we're just gonna hop over the guardrail. It's a good thing there's no ice or snow. We won't need crampons today. This is not a very well-known waterfall, so I'm glad that people, perhaps volunteers, have made sure visitors can find their way down to the waterfall by putting all these ribbons around the trees. We're going to be descending about 200 feet to Trout Creek. Just keep that in mind as we will be making our way back, climbing 200 feet. I found the instructions on how to get to Jaegerville Falls from one of the YouTube videos. I'll include the link in the description below. We're actually moving away from the falls at this point, but this is the easiest way to get there. There's red trail markers over there and there's also red trail markers down here. I guess I'll go this way because the waterfall is somewhere over there. I can already see the little cascades down there on the creek. Trout Creek. It looks easier to hike on that side of the river, so hopefully these fallen trees will help us cross it. Okay, we're across. It wasn't so hard. My bin liners worked. Gonna take them off now. We're off, back on the trail. Hold on a second, where are my gloves? Oh, look, I left my gloves back there. I'll just have to go back for them later. Can I make it through here? Or should I go over there? Let's see. Probably easier if I go that way. In case you didn't notice, there are no more red trail markers. Uh, they probably stopped somewhere back there. So now we're on our own, but I'm not too worried about getting lost. This runs parallel to the road. So as long as I can make it back up there, that's where the road is. It's really just a roadside waterfall. It's just getting to it that's tricky. Oh, I think I see it now. Oh, not yet. That's not the waterfall yet. There is an even taller drop behind it. From the looks of it, it's easier to walk around this dead trunk. Or maybe not. You just have to kind of make your own trail heading to uh, Jaegerville. Pick whichever looks best for you. Plenty of options. And there it is. Waterfall on Jaegerville Road. No, I think the better angle is from over there. Let's see. If this is your idea of fun, then this is the place. Lots of hopping over dead trees to reach a waterfall.
Getting here is not insurmountable by any means. You just have to accept that the trail is not maintained and some parts can be tricky. So it looks like there's a trail on this side of the creek after all and you might not have to ford the creek to get there. And, and I can now see uh, red trailblazers. So I'm gonna pick up my gloves and we're off. Two of my viewers told me about this trail, otherwise I would not have known about it. Thank you, John and Sue. Getting through the falls can be tricky, but if you just want some peace and quiet, some time alone with nature, then know that Jaegerville Falls is there.